Welcome back to Ether Race. This is week 131, day 4. Defense results, we have another win. And this one is a pretty interesting one to watch. So let's take a look. Alright, so that's like the second time a catapult has taken out our bright shine. But we have a plus one air with Temari Refine for Res, Smite Iceberg, Fortress Res, Speed Death Link, and Phantom Res, Dagger with Reposition No Seal, Freya with Reposition No Seal. We have a plus 10, plus 15 bike with Reposition Eater DC No Seal Attack Smoke QR. You've seen that build a billion times. Uh, plus one Lucina with Shove, Triangle Depth, Attack Wrestling and Double Drive Attack. And finally we have Peony with Mumbo, Wings of Mercy, Chill Speed. Uh, there are three changes I made to this team uh, from the last time I got challenged. And that is number one, I gave Ines flowers. Uh, we know that he died to that leaf by one... Uh, if he had had one more point of defense, he would have lived. So I was like, okay, let's just give him the flowers because that was a max investment leaf. So since we know that, then we know that he will survive that kind of leaf, like the close counter advantage type. Um, so yeah, I was like, okay, let's just, I mean, we're gonna build him anyway. We already gave him expensive fodder, so might as well give him uh, the flowers. Second thing I did, I switched Lara Shells. Uh, she was running Mystic Boost, but I decided to give her attack defense form. Since uh, the only teams that seem to be able to win against this ones are uh, player face teams that go in and they always go in after Lara Shell. This at least gives her a little bit of defense. And the third change I did was I uh, took Dark Luster's, Dark Luster's advice and I gave a uh, bonfire to Tana. And that's it. Those are the three changes that I make to this team. All right, so they go in with a bike. Now bike has null city disrupts, so Tana, I mean, Lara Shell's weapon is unaffected. Ennis, of course, is able to do a good fair chunk of damage, but here's an interaction I never knew would, that he could do. Just like my brother. So yeah, I never expected this kind of interaction. Lara Shell went in to heal Ennis, and because of Rescue's uh, drawback, she drew him back, which means it extended Tana's range to allow to go over bike and attack Lucina in the back. So that was uh, completely unexpected. I never expected this thing to be able to do something like that, <laughs> but it's pretty cool though. So points to Tana. And then here goes Sothis. And unfortunately we, uh, for them, we have damage reduction, so. And here goes Tiandra, which one point of HP and one point of defense would have saved her from this. So maybe she needs flowers too. And that's it. So yeah, that was a pretty unexpected interaction between this team. Like I didn't expect Lara Shell to just go and draw back uh, Ines to heal him, allowing Tana to jump. And Ines, I think it would have done more damage to this bike has his solo skill been active, but of course he's never gonna put himself over here. Like the AI will always prioritize attacking from above and closer to your closer to your own allies. So that's more for like if they want to bait in and out. All right, so let's get on today's match. Um, pretty sure everybody should be fine. I 
don't think I messed with anybody's kids, but we'll just check the carries. Oh, there we go. Need that flashing blade. It does come in handy. This thing, we still haven't had a chance to use it. Maybe it would be better to have just come with the le with the lens. But I don't know. Maybe it'll be a chance to use that thing. But. Alright, so, okay, very open. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. Air Orders Tiandra, uh, Glimmer, Legendary Azura with Guidance and Wings of Mercy, Miracle as well, then Leaf, Death Blow, Vantage. Patrine, plus 10, plus 5, Disencounter, Desperation, Attack, Speed, Solo. Python, plus 10, Shorebow, which is uh, Buddha, Mumbo, Low Attack, Speed, Life and Death. And the Mon, who is Brahmi. Attack, Defense, Mon. So, this seems very... Ah, uh, like... This would have been a good for Edgar, but Edgar doesn't do good against bows. Petrine, she can handle her like no problem. Python might actually be pretty scary for Leon. I don't know how much damage a Python will do to my Leon. And then, of course, Petrine, she will go one, two, three. Azura will come over here and dance her, and if she does hit rest, but she will double me, and I don't have a way to counter her, so. My name is Ryoma versus Leaf. That would be pretty scary, though. I mean, we're not weak to uh, bows, but still. And then there's Petrine. Hmm. Like this, where this catapult is, would be a great tanking place, but getting to it is not really possible. Or is it? I think it is actually very possible to get to that spot. So... With Peony, it would be like, hit this with Hinoka, or like open this and then put Hinoka over here to take this out, then I can dance Ryoma and I can move him over here. That would allow me to bait one, two, three, four, five units, have Hinoka for support, and a boy Petrine. Which will go one, two, three. Dance one, two, three. Which means we could put dagger right here or the goat just to handle her. That will take care of all the range units. It will put me next to Panic Manor though. Ah, uh, though I think I have 71 HP, don't I? 51, 5, 10, 15, 20, 71. So I do have 71 HP. So I can avoid uh, Panic Manor. I won't be able to avoid Bright Shrine. But I can't really break the Bright Shrine. Meanwhile, I guess Petrine could also try to go left or right. She goes left, 1, 2, 3. Her range is smaller. Although she shouldn't go anywhere other than 1, 2, 3. One, two and three just because I will bait out Azura all right I think that would be a good plan let's try it good morning all 
All right, so it would require you to be here, you to be here, and you to be here. And we want someone who can, who's strong to be on that side. Yeah, kind of wish I could put Peony right behind him, but actually, Smite is two spaces, so. Don't. Maybe. Maybe I can put Peony right behind him as well. Just move Dagger one space back. And push peony over here that it will stagger will stop her that gives her a little more defense unfortunately hinoka's uh rain will not be rain of her weapon will not be able to be active just because she will be over here and all the range units will not let her but i think this is a good play it's the only play i see Maybe he, maybe Ryoma point. should be running a healing special. But I understand. Let's go with it. Break this. Got him in my sight. Break this. Good morning. Dance. Wait. I guess it doesn't. Work against buildings. I understand. We're supposed to be able to move. Oh, adjacent. That's what it is. I'm an idiot. Uh. Still, can I still think this is the best team I got? On my blade. Right, boss. Yes. Just Maybe I've try. been watching Tana too much. So where do we go? We want to bait you. We still want to bait you guys out as much as we can. So maybe here is still the best spot. I understand. You have a solo skill, and that's mostly res, which won't come into matter only against Brahmin, especially because we don't get any. Yes. Yeah, Freya is the one that's eating the debuff, 60-53. I understand. Expect nothing 53-46, I definitely... Okay, so once I dance her, she'll be fine. Time to fly. Right. So I guess we'll put him right here. That's as much buffs as I can give her. Or give him. Petrine will go one, two, three. But I should be able to bait out everyone before she gets any hits. Sixteen and sixteen. We do. This activates my brazen. Thank God for damage reduction. An opening. Should be Azura. This is really getting close. Yeah, I think Ryoma needs to run a healing special. Yeah. I think this is maybe like two. This does three damage. The future of Hoshino. That was extremely close. <laughs> that was extremely close. I like, did not expect that to go like that. 
Mm, you two guys have the same range. Just you try. Freya can take on Python. Yes. But I would rather have her transform. Now I think both of them will come this way. Good morning. Because especially Python, because mm, Peony will be the thing that he does the most damage against. Expect nothing less. Death's caress. It is a shame. Just you try. But yeah, Good definitely. I got this. Yes. Thing we need to go with um. If you say so. Healing special on Ryoma. Alright, both of them want to play this way. Yes. Just you try. Expect nothing less. Yes. Right, boss. Got him in my sights. Ready. Give some buffs. Fly. We're going for her red for her defense. <laughs> Alright. I think we can get all the ether. Just you try. Unfortunately, got it in my sights. not good enough to put us in Wings of Mercy. Got him. I got this. The glimmer of life. Good morning. Yes. If you say so. And that's it. So yeah, Expect really unfortunate less. it would have that it Time didn't turn out to work like I wanted. Mostly that um, I wasn't able to get the what you call it. Um, that Ryoma died by one HP. So I'm thinking I Ryoma this. needs to get a healing special, Ready. just because. If you say so. Yeah, that was really close. Like he almost was able to take that entire team. So yes. I guess shout out to Ryoma for being almost able to take out that entire team. Death's caress. Time to fly. Got him. All right, and I guess we finish you off. If you say so. Mm, maybe this way. Right, boss. So long, Petrine. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that Bionicky lets you move with two spaces of like, when I'm one space of in here. I'm like I said, I've been playing with Tana too much and She's the only one. Well, her and uh Peony are not Peony, uh Halloween know we are the only ones that can do something like that. So Yeah, I think maybe even noontime would have been just fine. On Ryoma. Where is he? Right here. So the bracing attack death definitely came into play because a lot of the just to stop the attacks. Although did it come into play? Let's see. Three magical units. Lee it didn't um it didn't activate against Leaf because he went first. So I guess only against Python. So I guess even the bracing attack defense didn't come into play because Python was the one that was able to do that one point of damage. And yeah, I guess nothing needed Glimmer to go down. Everything just went down with one hit. Well, like the two hits without proccing the special. So yeah, maybe we should uh, give Ryoma a healing special. Does he even have one equip? 
now. So yeah, maybe next time you see Ryoma, he'll have a healing special. Um, so let's see how everybody else did for this. Well, has done so far for today. We have Promise in first place again, followed by Matt, Brave Blitz, Kako, Kenny, ECLA, Ducks, which now is over us thanks to the 20 points that we gave up. 40 points, I guess. Dark Gloucester, Ren, Kledge, Neo Sourceman, Michael, Diego, Alan, Alphonse, Lemres, Ghostin, Brandy, Oron. Oh, we got special fighter now, people. So he was able to give um, Selgio special fighter. Scarlet with a plus 10 Leon. Very nice. I wasn't able to get any on the second someone I went for. Yakiomi, Bean, and Amethyst, which is just missing one Leon for her plus 10. So I hope she gets it. And that's pretty much it. I don't believe there's anything to summon on today. Nope, just the Legendary Hero Remix, which we'll still collect a little more orbs. Um, so we can summon on it. And it's been a lot of uh, banners lately that I have summoned on. Like, I usually like, skip on a lot of them and just try to stick to the Legendaries and Mythics. But I really wanted those the, the kids from this banner as well as the Fallen Heroes. So that kind of drained me out. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.